Hello class, welcome back to Combinatorics. So we are having our own little adventure now where we're going to do this online. So I'm going to change the content of the course just a little bit to better suit the tools I have, which is writing on this space in front of you. Uh, so I'm going to do a couple things that I wasn't going to do. I'm not going to do a couple things that I was, but all in all, it's going to be pretty similar. Uh, but as a result, one consequence of that, as I mentioned in the document I posted, is that I'm going to pick different homework and I'm going to do the homework slightly differently. Stay tuned. I'll post a thing each week that says what you should be doing homework wise and all of that sort of thing. But Essentially now that homework will also serve as basically a take-home test, and so your grade will come from what you've done before plus that. To start, I thought a good way to do this would be to go back a little bit into counting, uh, just sort of as a review, and so a really nice way to do that is with this thing called the 12-fold way. Uh, which is sounds very mysterious, uh, but I think is just someone being cute. Uh, namely, it's all about the question, how many ways can I put M objects in N boxes? Okay, and so it turns out that a lot of questions that we've done this semester can be reframed uh, as this question. Uh, now, I know what you're thinking is that's not super impressive because a lot of them were already framed that way, but I think you're going to find out that even a lot of the questions that we did not frame this way could be framed this way if you were so inclined. So we're going to talk about that. Okay, so where does this 12 in 12-fold way come from? It comes from the fact that though this is listed as a question, this isn't really a question until you specify what exactly you mean by it. And so uh, there's a few different pieces that you might, or a few different things you might mean by this. And so... Uh, we're going to list this, in fact, as a sequence of choices in our usual sense. So choice one is going to be, are the objects themselves distinguishable or not? Okay, and so that will give us two options. Okay. Uh, choice two is going to be, are the boxes distinguishable or not? That'll be two options. Uh, and then choice three will be about other restrictions. And so what other restrictions might we have? Well, we might have no other restrictions. Uh, we might have at least one object per box. And we might have no more than one object per box. Okay, and so that is a total of three possible other restrictions. None, at least one object per box, and at most one object per box. And so together, that gives me three more options. And so there's actually our 12, a little mini combinatorics question uh, to say, well, I get to make a choice of two things here, two things here, and three things here. Two times two times three is 12. Okay. So my goal in this series of videos is going to be to look at all 12 of the counting problems that this gives us. And so I will have arranged them uh, into three sheets that look like this uh, that we will fill in one by one. 
and we'll fill in all the squares, and we'll talk about the kinds of questions we've talked about already that, fa that fall into this category. And so if you want to have a little bit of fun, before we go back and do this, you can make your own set of these three sheets of paper, and you can fill them in. All right, until next time, uh, I'm going to leave it there, but I'll see you then.